If I were to give you a choice of a single cent, a single penny that doubles every day for 31 days or a million euro in cash right now, how many people would take the million in euro? So what is the root control factor? If we were to boil everything down to the most core controlling factor to all the results in your life, what does it come down to? Your life is controlled by one factor. There's only one thing that will determine whether at the end of a life you end up living here or whether you end up living here. There's only one thing, one thing that determines whether you end up driving this or whether you end up driving this. Your whole life comes down to one thing. What's the one thing? It all comes down to choices. Your whole life is nothing but the accumulated compound effect of the choices you've made up to this moment. Right now, your waistline is nothing but the accumulated compound effect of the choices you've made up to this moment. The size of your business, your bank account, the intimacy of the relationships in your life, are all just an outcome of the compounded choices you've made up to this point. Success is not a result of some heroic feats. Nobody you see on the cover of Success Magazine did anything heroic. It is not because of some grand act of bravery. Success is a result of small, seemingly insignificant, moment-to-moment -moment choices. The only thing that separates them from you is that accumulated compound effect of those little choices that created dramatic differences in results. These small choices add up to big, gargantuan differences in results. If I were to give you a choice of a single cent, a single penny that doubles every day for 31 days or a million euro in cash right now, how many people would take the million in euro. All right, last offer, okay? Penny that doubles every day for 31 days or three million in euro right now, right here today. How many people take the three million in euro? Well, let's say that you were paying attention and you said small things add up to big results. I better pick the small thing. There's a clue there. And let's say that you pick the penny, okay? But your neighbor, your neighbor at home picked the three million euro in cash. So now we're gonna start proceeding in life. We get five days down the road and your measly penny is worth 16 cents, okay? While your neighbor has $3 million in cash and you can hear the parties going on next door, right? When you get 10 days down the road, your penny has become five euro and 12 cents. It's not until we get to day 31 that we see the dramatic outcome of this compounding pity, where your penny is turned into 10 million, 737,000 against their paltry 3 million. Compound choices are the eighth wonder of the success world. Because the same choice you make between day one and day two is exactly the same simple, small, easy choice at day 30 to day 31. But the outcome of those choices are dramatically different. Stop looking for the quick fix for success, happiness, and wealth. There's no shortcut. There's no cliff notes. There's no quick fix. You are going to walk through a minefield day in and day out of hard freaking work because success is earned one day at a time. Every day you lift your head up off the pillow. You're gonna decide whether that day you are a success or whether you are a failure. You're either moving forward or you're falling behind. One step at a time. Every step you take away from the bed as you walk through your day, you are either going in the direction of success or you're going in the direction of failure. It is one decision at a time. At the moment that you're making a choice, the consequences, the outcomes, or the results are invisible. It doesn't look like it's having any impact whatsoever. So you can get faked out. You see, every single one of these choices 
has what you can also call a butterfly effect. One little itty bitty choice over here, 10, 15 years later, and there's a tsunami in your life, either positive or negative. Well, the first thing you need to do is to just have patience. Even though you don't see the results in the moment, you have to know that the compound effect has been ignited. And every choice you make ignites it and fuels it. And it will stretch itself out over 10, 15, 20 years before it reveals its results to you. We are constantly bombarded with an ever increasingly sensational marketing gimmickry with claims about how you can get rich, get fit, get younger, get sexier, all overnight with very little effort for only three easy payments of $39.95. And these commercial marketing gimmicks are taking people who really want to learn. I want to provide more for my family. I want to send my children to the great universities. And they're pursuing these answers and they're constantly being derailed and distracted. And here's the reality. There is no silver bullet. There's no magic pill. And for God's sakes, people, there's no freaking secret. So now you could just sit on your couch and imagine checks coming into your mailbox. Do that too long and they will come and take your couch. The truth about the process of earning, not winning, not arriving, but earning success, that process is in itself very mundane. The process is frustrating and sometimes it's even gut stomping, heart crushingly defeating. But hey, that doesn't make for interesting books or exciting infomercials or riveting movies. So instead we're paraded around with all these other visions of what it takes to be successful. But those are just shiny objects and not the truth. And in the end, you can never own success. Do not stagnate too long in your victory because you can never own success. You can only rent it. And the rent is due every single day. It is not what you know that determines the results in your life. See, that is a myth. Knowledge is not power. It is the potential of power, but it is not power in and of itself. Power is only created in what you do with what you know. Look, there are a lot of really smart people who are geniuses, who are broke because knowledge is not something you can take to the bank. It is only action that produces results. 44% of doctors who tell you how poor eating and lack of exercise will kill you. And these people, 44% of them are overweight. There's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. In life, you will suffer one of two pains the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. And as Jim put it, he said, the pain of discipline weighs ounces. Picking up the phone, going to the meeting, saying you're sorry. But the pain of regret weighs tons. Bankruptcy, divorce, heartache, loneliness. So as you're out there making your choices, ask yourself, pain of discipline, or pain of regret.